U.S. lawmakers have introduced new legislation to toughen sanctions against North Korea. The new bill aims to expand its sanctions, allowing Washington to freeze the U.S. based assets of third nation companies and individuals with links to Pyongyang. Connie Kim reports. U.S. lawmakers are pushing to broaden sanctions on North Korea in the wake of Pyongyang's alleged hack attack on Sony Pictures. U.S. House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Ed Roy said Thursday, a new piece of bipartisan legislation aims to prevent North Korea from accessing the hard currency that supports the regime. The bill would allow U.S. officials to freeze assets held in the U.S. of individuals or international companies found to be doing business with the North or who have links to the regime's nuclear program. Those who contributed to the massive cyber attack on Sony Pictures last November would also be targeted. The legislation broadens current sanctions on the North, which are focused on U.S. companies and Americans. A similar bill was passed by the House last year and received in the Senate, but was later scrapped. The bill's passage is more likely this time as the U.S. has vowed to clamp down on Pyongyang in light of the cyber attack on the Hollywood-based studio. The Senate is also expected to introduce a similar bill. Last month, U.S. President Barack Obama signed an executive order that imposes sanctions against three North Korean organizations and 10 individuals. It was the first time the U.S. had sanctioned any country for a cyber attack and implied more sanctions could be on the way, as the U.S. said at the time it was just the first aspect of the U.S. response. Connie Kim, Arirang News.